come over here. Guys, duck into this room. <sighs> I know you're some of my favorite cousins, but I thought maybe we could all chill in here while the uh, the older guys are out watching the uh, whatever the football game show is going on right now. And I know the kids are outside playing uh, tag and or Wii Sports, whatever it is that kids are into right now. But uh, I thought since we're all at this family reunion together, maybe you guys would want to pop in with me and discuss uh, two television shows, an old one and a new one. Oh, you do? Great. Uh, Here's what I was thinking. I thought we could do 1971's All in the Family and 1999's Family Guy. For the life of me, I could not think of a, a theme that united these two shows. Other than the theme song, I noticed that one clearly rips off from the other. I don't know uh, which direction that goes. I never learned about causality. But uh, let's talk about All in the Family Guy. Welcome to First Impressions. I'm your host, James Parker, along with your First Impressions co-host, the great Del Pollen, who is going to... Hey, you could have kept the music going. Who's going to... Uh, he reviewed the first episode of two TV shows, and then we're going to make the first little knee-jerk reaction and... Judge the whole series based on this first episode. One contemporary, one classic. Today, you're going to get All in the Family and Family Guy. Now, these are two shows that, in hindsight, are classics, but does the first episode stand up? Dell, tell me about the first episode of All in the Family. I don't think I've ever seen it. Well, you're missing out, James. I can tell you, uh, it started in 1971. All in the family uh, is the family of the Bunkers, including Archie, the husband and father, who's a uh, curmudgeon set in his ways, his wife, Edith, who's um, very shy, their daughter, Gloria, and their son-in-law, Mike, who is a liberal art student who's often classing, uh, clashing with Archie. Now, this show is known for not only winning a lot of Emmys, 11 Emmys. It was a commercial success, hugely well-known. This was talked around the water coolers the day after. This was a show that everyone tuned in to watch and talk about it because it handled controversial, you know, topical issues, um, some taboo issues. But in a, it was a comedy, a very like not lighthearted but very funny way. Um, it was also the first American sitcom, major American sitcom, to be filmed in front of a live studio audience. So it has that that as well going. Forward. Really, they didn't like for I Love Lucy. You could hear people laughing, and, and then was that all laugh tracks before? I, you know what? I can't speak to that because um, I'm not that old. Is old is better. Than <laughs> that. The uh, no, I know a lot of it was canned laughter. Um, that was actually a technology developed at the time to help with editing. Um, but the um, All in the Family was a major. Like people would eagerly go to stand in line to get tickets to sit for this somewhat controversial but much beloved show about this old curmudgeon clashing with uh, a modern liberal going to college. Well, I remember that used to be a bragging point on TV sh- shows you would watch. It'd be like, Good Times is filmed in front of a live studio audience, or Three's Company was filmed in a li- in front of a live studio audience. I guess that that's what All in the Family kicked off. Uh, okay, so how does it stand up? It's it's pretty good, huh? The first episode of All in the Family? Well, it's a little weird and a little dated. And I'll say even when I, I – it's still a show I love. And I remember actually watching this with my grandmother when I would spend the, the, the weekends over with her. It was one of her favorite shows. Um, it's wildly still offensive. And I mean that in a good way. Here we are, like I said, from 1971. We're talking almost 50 years later. And there were some times where Archie was talking. I'm like, oh, my God. Gosh, I can't believe that. I know, but people pe- people have a tendency to misuse offensive like it's always a bad thing. All right, the other oh, show, yeah. Family Guy. I-, I like that you're putting these two together because Family Guy sort of seems like a caricature of All in the Family. You know, the way Lois Griffin talks, this kind of sounds like Edith Bunker. And so Family Guy, what was the first episode of this like? Well, so this one there, 1999, uh, the title is called Death Has a Shadow. It stars, uh, well, stars, uh, Seth MacFarlane, it's an animated show, obviously, so not filmed in front of a live studio audience. Uh, we start with Peter Griffin as the father, Lois, like you just said, as the wife, Chris, Meg, and Stewie as the kids, uh, and their dog, Brian, who's the smartest member of the family. Now, a lot of people complained that this was kind of ripped off of The Simpsons, but 
maybe the family structure, but it's a direct correlation all in the family. Both have family in the name, but the theme song for Family Guy is directly references um, all in the family. They're sitting playing a piano. They're talking about how great times used to be, reflecting on the good old days. And it's the same thing. Peter Griffin isn't so much of a curmudgeon as um, – as Archie is, but they are fall into the same kind of archetype of the bumbling fool father who gets to say dumb things that you make fun of, and everybody kind of gets to laugh at them, but through their follies, you kind of uh, get a better understanding of what's going on in the world with social issues. And Family Guy it later on did talk, tackle a lot of social and taboo issues. Not so much so in the pilot. Uh, in the pilot, it's uh, they kind of set the tone for the show. There's a lot of cutaways to silly jokes, non sequiturs. It's... Um, Imagine hanging out with your friend with ADD, uh, much like I have, uh, how I ramble and jump around on this segment. It's, it's a show like that for people like me. All right. This has been First Impressions with the great Dell Poland. Thank you very much, Dell. Thanks, James. We'll do it again next week. All in the family and family guy, both of them. Positive reviews. All right. I admit, I'm starting to get a little sleepy. All that... Uh, Trip the fan from the turkey and all that other uh, ketamine I got from Jared. Jared, you got to quit bringing so many hardcore drugs from Grandma's medicine cabinet uh, over to this room uh, across the hallway. Anyway, I hope everyone out there enjoyed episode three um, of First Impressions. Next week, we're going to be looking at the Flintstones, 1970, uh, 1967, and the Simpsons, 2080. What, what? No, 1989. Has it been that long? 30, 30 plus years. All right. And uh, who knows what the theme will be other than the and then the name of the family. Thanks for tuning in again. This is a conjunction with the uh, James Parker show from WBAP. If it wasn't for him, I'd be doing uh, nothing except sitting at home and crying. Quietly to myself. Alone. So, so alone.